Hi, I'm Dr. Apurva Pallam Reddy. I'm a consultant in the field of laparoscopy and infertility from Matrutva Fertility Center, Bangalore. There are two things which should be considered after having an unprotected intercourse or a condom breakage. The first one is to make sure that you do not get pregnant post the act. And of course, the second major thing is to avoid acquiring any kind of infections from this act. Let us see what are the kind of emergency contraceptive options we have in order to avoid having a pregnancy. Of late, there are multiple choices for having emergency contraception. But the most commonly used is the one we commonly know as an emergency contraceptive pill. is just a high dose of progesterone which acts at three levels in avoiding pregnancy. It can act either by avoiding the release of the egg or ovulation. It can also avoid the pregnancy by preventing fertilization or that is the reaction that occurs between an egg and sperm. If all the three have already happened, then it avoids pregnancy by preventing the implantation or the attachment of the embryo inside the uterus. The pill is effective only when it is taken within 72 hours of the unprotected intercourse. But of course, it is best effective when it is taken as soon as possible. New antiprogestins like mifepristone or uripristal acetate are also available and can be used for as long as 5 days post the unprotected intercourse. But they are not available in India for this purpose and that too as an over-the-count drug. So you need a doctor's prescription for these kind of medicines. If you are looking for a long-term contraceptive purpose, then it would be ideal for you to use a copper tea or an intrauterine contraceptive device which can also be used for up to 5 days of having unprotected intercourse. This will not only help in preventing pregnancy in the current act but also serve as a long-term contraceptive choice. Avoiding pregnancy probably is the simplest thing that can be done after having an unprotected intercourse. But the second most important factor that is preventing the occurrence of any sexually transmitted diseases is unfortunately not as simple as avoiding pregnancy. The symptoms of acquiring these infections can come as early as 10 days and sometimes as late as even 10 years. So it would be ideal for you to visit your doctor, preferably along with your partner, get a couple of investigations done and evaluate in detail what would be the future risk of developing any kind of infections and how to deal with them as and when they occur.